Das Sumit, I know you don't look at the numbers, but if you could just tell us Indusind Bank and the view on the charts, is it uh, looking positive after the recent last 10-15 minutes spike? And if, say, uh, uh, you know, Indusind was to close above this level? Hi, Pankaj. Good afternoon. Uh, well, yes, absolutely. Indusind is Indusind Bank is looking good on charts. In last couple of days, we have seen that the stock has given a very good move from lower levels. That means from the levels of 1080, we have seen a move till uh, 1160, 1165, which is the current market price. I think looming, uh, looking uh, immediately at the chart, it seems that the stock is headed upside. And there is a possibility that on higher side we can see levels of around uh, 1190, 1200. That means from uh, the levels of 1160, 65, we can see a move of 30, 40 points upside from present levels. I think anyone who's taken a long positions can hold on the existing long positions. And if uh, uh, anyone wants to initiate a fresh long, then also can be initiated because now till that time, uh, 1135, 1140 levels are not taken away on lower side. I think immediately the stock will uh, touch levels of around 1190 or 1200 in next one or two days. In next one or two? days okay so it can move up from a uh, year on uh, and say if somebody is buying now what's the essential stop loss that one should keep see if anyone is taking a fresh long positions at the current market price that is that means at around 1160 levels then the best stop loss which uh, one can place is uh, is at around 1140 or probably 1135 for the targets of 1200 right uh, and in terms of yes bank uh, do you think uh, that can also do well now generally these two names tend to move in tandem <clears throat> yes, absolutely, Pankaj. See, in last four days, we have seen that Yes Bank has also a good move from lower levels. From the levels of 1160, the stock has moved till 1260 levels. That means we have already seen a rally of 100 points in last four days. But looking at the chart, it seems that the rally can continue. And on higher side, uh, we can see levels of around 1310, 1300 in next one or two days. So I think if anyone wants to initiate a fresh long position in Yes Bank, then yes, they can initiate at CMP with a small stop loss to be placed at around 1240 levels on lower side for the immediate upside till 1300 levels. Right. And in terms of uh, other banking names, anything looking interesting? Uh, see, uh, most of the banking stocks are uh, range bound. In fact, in last couple of days, we have seen that the, that the, way, the way Bank Nifty has given move from lower levels, most of the stocks has not given. We have taken uh, names of uh, uh, two banks, Industrial Bank and Yes Bank, which have given a decent move. Uh, apart from Industrial and Yes Bank, I think Kotak Bank is looking lucrative at present levels. Kotak has... Uh, shown some recovery from lower levels, but it has not given a move like Industrial and Yes Bank. I think the uh, next bank would be the Kotak Bank. After a couple of days, we can see a decent rally in the uh, bank. Uh, we can see a levels of around uh, 730 or 750. So for a trading perspective, if anyone is looking for uh, some other bank, uh, some other bank on buying side, then that should be a Kotak Bank. I think one can initiate long position in Kotak Bank at CMP with a stop loss to be placed at around 690 levels on lower side for an immediate upside till 730 and 750 levels. Right. Uh, okay, Ravikant Bhatt of IDBI is now joining us. We did a preview with him this morning. Uh, Ravikant, a good set of numbers from Indusind Bank continues to lead the sector? Absolutely good set of numbers. Uh, the NIA has been a complete beat. Uh, uh, we need to dig deep into this, what's what's caused uh, this uh, this kind of a variation. Uh, has to be on the balance sheet, but uh, really hard to guess. I do not have the balance sheet numbers as of now, but uh, quite a spectacular beat. Right, but you know, even if you don't have the details, at least this assures that you know these companies like Indusind and Yes Bank, which are trading at a premium, uh, you know, do tend to grow faster than the industry, and that's why that premium would sustain. Well, I think the uh, uh, all the questions that are com that would come in is is on the growth side. Uh, frankly, uh, we need, we uh, need to first find out what has whether the names expanded during the quarter because that was a uh, that was one uh, difficult thing to happen. And if not, if the growth really did come in, then how how could how did the growth come in uh, during such a, a difficult quarter? So. Uh, uh, and therefore, you know, uh, these are the questions that, that need some uh, very uh, uh, assuring or, uh, uh, you know, uh, specific answers. So, uh, yes, uh, to answer your question, uh, yeah, there would be a premium. Number, it's 4%. Uh, NIMS are flat at 4%. Correct. So, which basically means that the balance sheet has expanded, and uh, we know how the balance sheet would have expanded. It could be because of the demonetized deposits, uh, uh, in leading to an increasing interest earning assets. But then I would have expected the names to fall, whereas you are saying the names are flat. So that's that's something which is uh, a bit. Uh, Can you explain that again. Balance sheet would have uh, what what would have happened to the balance sheet that names are flat. 
the liquidity would have come in because of uh, the demonetized deposits uh, that would have led to a significant expansion of the balance sheet uh, which this liquidity would have got parked either in reverse repo or mss uh, which would have added to the top line so i think uh, uh, so if if this had, this had happened ideally i would have expected deposits were up 38% in the quarter total deposits were up 38% in the quarter i'm just awaiting the loan growth number the deposits were up 38% that's what you were trying to say right yeah so the deposits are up significantly i think we should also track investments the investments would also have been up uh, quite significantly because the reverse repo related uh, numbers would appear over there the short term deployments i don't think uh, loan growth would have matched the deposit growth it would be the investments that would have done the balance matching but uh, how would you read it as an analyst is that a cause of worry or you know that was expected I, I think this is abnormal. This was not uh, so. Uh, you know, uh, one 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 can uh, expect you know just say that uh, uh, this was bound to happen given given the way the quarter had gone. But I would take this uh, kind of a bump as as abnormal and uh, look to normalize my numbers. I'm not changing numbers just because I would I would adjust numbers for this uh, unexpected high, unexpectedly higher number. But that said, I'm not really making structural changes to the model. because this will not be sustainable sooner or later you would start getting withdrawals also being higher i i think the numbers have to normalize right and in terms of management commentary apart from numbers what would you want to hear on the loan side now now that the numbers are out look so clearly i think i did say in the morning that i am looking to uh, you know the growth areas for the bank because clearly they have enough capital uh, they need to grow and deliver that roe so for uh, for for industrial bank i would be clearly looking for uh, a growth uh, on on the liability side they have already they are close to achieving what they had aspired for a 40% cas i am not really worried on that side as of now right uh, industrial bank is now up about half a percent uh, ravi thank you so much for taking out uh, time for us industrial bank the management should be speaking uh, any time uh, soon now uh, sumit uh, just a last word on uh, bank nifty as well and then we can focus on some other sectors Bank Nifty Bank Nifty is uh, looking good. Uh, it uh, has uh, uh, broken the resistance of around 18 to 50, and now immediately it's headed for 18500, 18600 levels. I think as soon as 18500, 600 will uh, or 18500, 18600, 600 is taken away on charts, then we will see a fresh upside move in the car in the uh, Bank Nifty itself, in which we can see levels of around 19000. So till that time, 18500, 18600 is not taken away. I think it will it will move in a range of 300, 400 points. That means 18300 to 250 on lower side to 18500. 600 on higher side i think immediately if anyone wants to initiate a position in bank nifty then that should be on buy side one can initiate long position in 18400 levels with the stop loss to be placed at 18250 on lower side for a immediate target of 18600 levels right just about 2 minutes remaining sumit uh, request you to stay on now uh, with us we should have the industry management any time now and in uh, one or two minutes you should have the markets closing in as uh, well nifty bank on your screen is up pointed a lot of the contribution and recovery came in from industry bank even some of the other private sector banks did go up so maybe that also played a role indalco on your screen the top gainer 4 and a half percent higher spr is up 0.7 odd percent tata motors is up about 3 3 and a half percent 516 for tata motors ongc is up around a rupee uh 198 uh, infosys about 0.6 paisa higher 971 bank of baroda up a quarter of a percent adani ports 3% higher 293 it's going towards that 300 310 mark which uh, was the high earlier <clears throat> hdfc limited down about half a percent and power grid are uh, flat with a positive bias bhcl up about half a rupee or so sun pharma up close to 7 rupees 690 uh Three for Sun Pharma, now uh, six hundred and thirty-nine for Sun Pharma. NDPC flat with a negative bias. Scale was up around a percent, four thirty-nine. Tata Power up about one uh, rupee. BPCL up close to six and a half rupees, six hundred and fifty-nine. And Tech Mahindra down about fifty uh, paisa. Tata Motors DVR two point nine percent higher, three twenty-six. Yes Bank up around one percent, twelve ninety-seven. Orbindo Pharma struggled to go beyond the seven hundred level. It did open above that yesterday as well as today morning, but not being able to sustain. Ambuja Cement. Uh, 209 210 for ambuja cement uh, close to about uh, 90 paisa lower lnt about 11 rupees higher 1392 tcs up around 2310 6.5 rupees wipro up 5 rupees 477 lupin down about 2 rupees 1487 and sipla down close to 3 rupees maruti 24 rupees higher 0.3% higher uh, hul down about uh, a rupee just about a rupee 
Grasim, 9 rupees lower, 850, and MM, up close to 7 rupees. Dr. Reddy, 16 rupees lower, 3044 for Dr. Reddy's. Ultratech, 11 rupees lower, 3280. Hero Motocop, 3066 for that name, 1.5 lakh shares traded, and that's uh, the closing bell, 54 points higher. Uh, for uh, the Nifty. Hindalco was probably the top gainer on the Nifty pack. So that's, uh, uh, I think since morning, you know, Hindalco was a name that did particularly well. So that continues to be the case as far as, uh, uh, you know, the top gainer is concerned from the metal pack and that uh, has been uh, the case. Uh, Tata Motors is the second top gainer, 518. Actually, in the end, it went up quite a bit. Uh, it was, uh, you know, hovering around the 510 mark. Uh, we should get, uh, you know, more details as to volumes and I think even the DVR would have gone up. So we'll just pull up the DVR as well. So Tata Motors 518. Let's pull up the DVR and see what was happening. So that should have also been among the top gainers. There you go. Uh, 327. So that's another name uh, which did very well. It followed uh, Tata Motors. Adani Ports was also among the top gainers. 3.2%. Tata Steel ended at the day's high. 431 for Tata Steel. HDFC Bank did particularly well, 1.7% and Asian Paints was also particularly strong. In terms of losers, not many. Axis Bank was down, Grasim was down and ACC was on the lower side. Dr. Reddy's continues to be lower, 0.6% lower for Dr. Reddy's, 3,042 uh, for uh, that name. So it also is among uh, one of the top uh, losers. Let's go back to Sumit. Sumit, Hindalco, 165. Uh, it's, it's not falling. Do you believe that it's a buy even now? Yes, absolutely, Pankaj. It's a buy. In fact, if you remember, we have given a buy call in most of the metal stocks in last couple of uh, months. And now immediately after a consolidation of uh, uh, 10 to 15 days, now it seems that again the counter is headed upside. As far as Hindalco is concerned, it's quoting at around 164, 165 levels. From here, immediately we can see a rally till 175, 180 levels. And the day Hindalco gives breakout above 180, we will see a uh, uh, we will see a counter moving towards 200 levels. So overall, for a longer term horizon, target would be 200. And for a short term trading perspective, it's a buy at CMP with a small stop loss. Uh, with a small stop loss to be placed at around 150, uh, 157, 158 levels for an immediate upside till 175, 180 levels. Right. Uh, what do you do with uh, Adani Ports? Uh, it's up 3.2%. Adani Port has given a breakout today. Uh, immediately, the stock is headed for 300 levels. And if 300 is also taken away, then we can see extended move till 315 levels. I think those who have taken long positions in Adani Port, they can hold on their existing positions. And if anyone wants to initiate a fresh long, then they can initiate at CMP, that is at around 292 to 293 levels with a stop loss to be placed at around 282 levels on lower side for an immediate upside till 300 and a closing over 300 will take stock prices to 315 levels. Right. Uh, Tata Motors and Tata Motors DVR or if any one if you track? Uh, we track uh, both the counters. In fact, uh, today we have seen that Tata Motors has given a good move. I think immediately uh, the counter is headed for uh, 545, 550 levels. Those who have taken positions in Tata Motors, they can hold on their positions. Fresh longs are suggested at present levels because the stock has given a breakout above 500 levels and it has given a closing above 502. I think immediately the stock is headed for 545, 550 levels. So one can initiate long positions in Tata Motors at CMP or if there is a small correction of 57 points from present levels, then that can be used as a good buying opportunity with the stop loss to be placed below 500 levels for an immediate upside till 545, 550 levels. Any of the tyre names looking interesting, Sumit? Uh, all of them buzzed in the last 30-40 minutes? JK Tire has given a breakout. I think JK Tire is looking good on charts. It's a cash market stock. Uh, it's not a FNO stock. Uh, so JK Tire is looking good on charts. I think above 120, uh, we can see stock headed towards 130-132 levels. So purely for a trading perspective for next couple of days, one can initiate long positions in JK Tire at CMP for an immediate upside till 130-132 levels in next couple of days. Right, but any other tyre stocks looking good because all of them started to buzz and when the sector goes up, all these names uh, clearly tend to give superior returns. Yes, absolutely. You are still right. We have seen a move in Apollo Tyre, we have seen a move in C8, we have seen a move in MRF. I think if anyone wants to initiate a long position in FNO based stock, then they can initiate long positions in uh, Apollo Tyre because the stock uh, today only has given a move of around uh, almost uh, 7 to 8 points from lower levels. That means from the levels of around 186, the stock has managed to give closing at around 194 levels. Now looking at the chart, it seems that immediately the stock is headed for 200 levels. 200 would uh, be the crucial level for the stock because if 200 uh, is taken away uh, on closing basis, then there is a possibility that we might see a descent up move in the counter in which we can see levels of around 230, 220.
or even 230 in next couple of weeks. But only for a trading perspective, anyone wants to initiate a position in Apollo Tire at CMP, then they can go ahead with the uh, then they then they can go ahead and can initiate long positions with a stop loss to be placed at 186 or 187 levels on lower side for an immediate upside till 200, and then we can see extended move till 220 levels. Sumit, thank you so much for taking our time for us. Always a pleasure.